This video provides an overview of the access groups, a mechanism of the Cuba platform used to create and control row-level or data-level access constraints. I will demonstrate working with the access groups using the sample library project, which is available for download at cubaplatform.com. The database already has some test data, and I have just created a screen for viewing all book instances in the library. As you can see, the library has seven departments – children's department, fiction, fine arts, and so on. Each book instance is associated with an appropriate department. Now let's restrict access for some users to children books only. In order to do this, open the access group screen and create a new group – children only. Groups are hierarchical, so the child group will inherit the attributes and constraints of the parent group. All groups inherit their properties from the company group. We can create session attributes for a group which can be further used both in the code and in the group constraints. Let us now add the user department attribute, which will contain the name of a department, to the books of which the user will have access. For this example, it is children access. Please note that the session has a number of extra attributes such as the current user. Now let us configure access constraints on the constraints tab. Constraints are defined using GPQL expressions. A group can have any number of constraints. Let us select the entity affected by the constraint. In our example, it is book instance. We will compare the department where the book is located to the department defined in the session variable. It should be noted that in the basic scenario, we could specify the name of the department directly in the where block instead of declaring the session variable. To check the attribute of related library department entity, we open the constraint wizard and add library department name as the condition. Then we replace null in where clause with the recently created session variable. The E symbol enclosed in brackets is used as the alias of the main entity. Click test constraint to make sure it works. Now the group is fully configured. If a user from a children-only group attempts to retrieve a book instance, Cuba platform will automatically append corresponding conditions to the database query. Let us see the result of applying access group constraints. Suppose we have two users, Junior Smith and Senior Smith. We will leave Senior in the company group and add Junior to the children-only group. If we now log into the system as Senior, the Book Instances browser allows him to view books from all departments. Now let us log in as Junior Smith. As we can see, the only book instances displayed are those from the children's department. As a summary, Access Groups enables access control on the data level, complementing user roles working on the data model level. A joint use of these mechanisms enables to quickly create and maintain even the very complex access restrictions. Thank you for watching.